Alright, what's going on guys? Utah pregame. It's one of those games, man, where you have to stay focused. Utah can sneak up on people and um, beat you if you're not paying attention. And um, After coming off a big win against Stanford, we finally got the monkey off our back. Um, I have a feeling that we could be in that kind of a situation, though I have confidence in Marcus and Hironis, the center, that, um, and also Keenan Lowe and Ifo on the defense side of the ball, that they're going to have these young guys focused up and ready to play. Uh, Mariota didn't have a really great game against Stanford. To his own admission, he just was not himself. Uh, nine, 19 of 30 um, still happened, I think, through over 300 yards and accounted for four touchdowns. It's really a great thing to say that that was an off night for Mariota. So he usually doesn't have games like that back-to-back. -back. So I'm confident that he's going to come out fired up and ready to have a great day against Utah, which I don't believe has a great secondary. They just have a really um, good front seven, so they're going to try and stop our run game. Um, Royce and Thomas both had really good days against Stanford, so their confidence is high right now. And I wouldn't mind seeing a lot m more of them in this game, uh, combined, of course, with the way Mariota ran against Stanford. And now that they've shown that, teams are going to be looking for that. We have not ran Mariota that much at any point this season. So the coaches are finally starting to open another page of the playbook and run in Mariota. I think they finally see that this is the time of the season where you have to open things up because people are keying in on what we've shown, and now it's time to bring in another wrinkle. And teams have always known that wrinkle's been there. But um, against teams like Stanford and Michigan State, we we had to bring out that option run, and I was really excited to see that Mariota was just running with a authority on that one touchdown, especially where he just snapped it and ran it with it immediately. I had never seen him run so hard that quick out of his um, stance in the shotgun. It was awesome to see. Um, Utah offensively, they're banged up. They're missing their two starting wide receivers. So they're going to be kind of a poor man's version of Stanford. They're going to really try and ground ground and pound, control the clock, keep our offense off the field. Um, we're banged up defensively. Eric Armstead not expected to play on the D-line, though Sam Camp has played awesome when he's been in there filling in for Armstead, who's been banged up uh, a few times this year. So I have confidence that Sam will go in there and do his job. He's not going to make the highlight reel. He's not really athletic at all. He just goes out there and does his job. He's definitely a lunch pail kind of guy on that D-line that will come in when you need him to and he's not going to miss a beat. He's just going to go out there and do what's asked of him and that's great. That's all we need right now um, from him. Uh, also expect to get Andre Y and Eric back for the Colorado game coming off the bye week so we'll be healthy just at the right time get into our groove against Colorado put up a lot of points on them shut their defense or shut their offense down and then get ready for the Civil War so I think we're really hitting our stride. We are clicking offensively, as anybody can tell who watches our games. Our offense can't really be stopped right now. Um, so that gives me hope that if we do get into one of these games where it's not going right, um, we're going to be able to outscore somebody. Um, and that's great. So that's about it, guys. There's really not much to say about Utah. It's, it's Utah. I don't hate Utah. I just am mildly nervous about this one because um, if you give them confidence, like I said... Uh, they can stick around. So that's it, guys. Go Ducks, and I'll catch y'all after the game.